Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today, we are uh, fishing. It's pretty, pretty chilly out. Um, it's more of like a comfortable chill instead of a really windy, annoying, freezing cold chill. So today we're going into some back bays. There's a bunch of shrimp in the water. So I got these power prawns from uh, Salt Strong. They're a 3.5 inch um, natural color. Come in a seven pack. I'm gonna put them on a little belly weighted um, uh, offset hook with a little screw lock. Hopefully we get onto something. I don't know, I've, I haven't been here in a very long time, but the weather seemed pretty good and uh, we're gonna give it a shot. To match this, I have a St. Croix inshore, uh, St. Croix legend inshore, and it's a seven foot three medium fast action. So hopefully we get something on this rod because this, this too is a brand new rod and we're trying out a bunch of new stuff this year. So see what happens. The action feels great. The balance feels great with the Shimano Stratic, but we'll see what happens. So here's the power prawn. Here's a little set, the offset hook. We got a little screw lock on here as well. So basically you just put that center of the screw lock right into the center of the bait and it basically self-centers itself and just keep turning and turning and turning until you got it way down there and level. We're gonna figure out where the hook ends, where that bend is right there. We're going to push up, doing our best to keep it centered. Sometimes it doesn't really stay centered that well. And look at that, our hook's in there. And uh, we're gonna go try some power prawns. See what happens. Got a couple questions about what knots I use as well. So I'm just gonna put this around my neck right here and try to tie this in focus in the dark. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, so really all I do is a, uh, a clinch knot. So it's, a, it's called a fisherman's knot or a clinch knot for braid. When you're tying this, you wanna do an improved clinch knot so that it holds to itself better. But really, I just pinch the bottom here, get some tag end out here, wrap around the main line uh, about five, six times. And then on my wrap back forward, I go back to that loop I made that I pinched here. I go in it, pull out a little, get it wet, and then just pull down and cinch it down. Keeping it wet, you don't wanna burn it, especially with it being light mono or floral, whichever your leader is. Cut off that tag end if you need to, which I don't really need to, but since I'm using such a finessey little tiny shrimp, little prawn, that's what your knot should look like at the end there. All right. We're gonna catch some fish. So I'm gonna bring the little net out there, see if I can catch up some of these shrimps and uh, bait fish around here so I can show you what I'm talking about with there being so many shrimp. But we're gonna take this with us and we're gonna head out. Let's go. So I didn't say in the beginning here that I, I am actually meeting Brian here, but Here's Brian. And nice mud covered fish. Yeah, so the reason he's all sandy, ideally you don't want this, but um, he's tagging a fish, so he had to get all his tagging stuff out. But here we go. That's cool. It's a good sign. So that was, I had two hits before this guy. He just picked it up. They're really lethargic though. Like they're not like really attacking it. This is number 10 for the year for you? Number 10. Get a quick measurement. I want to get him back in the water. Yeah. Let's go 26. Wow. Nice. Okay. 26 is that we measured before it looked a lot bigger than that. <laughs> right? All right, tag for GFR, 26 inches. We got some questions in the comments. What does GFR stand for? GFR stands for Gray Fish Tag Research. I was doing a big push in the Northeast with the striped bass. 
go. Muddied up the water here. Yeah. Whew. Nice fish. Nice little fight on that rod. Had to play him real good because I'm using uh, a big snapper lure, really. Um, so the hooks aren't the strongest. So I didn't want to bend it out. So I played him and played him, let him run, brought him in. And he was hooked good. He wasn't coming off, so yeah. let's go get some more. Lead back. Is this straight? It's a little guy. Dang, that's the first fish on this rod. That felt really, really great. Check that out, guys. On the power prawn from Salt Strong, a little 3.5 inch. So don't, a lot of people don't normally throw shrimps for stripers, but if you're having fun in the back bay, throw on a little belly weighted hook and go catch some stripers, light action. We're gonna go tag this guy for GFR. I'm gonna give the fish to Brian, that way I can get the camera, we can get the tagging on video. Um, I know you guys like that stuff. We'll link whenever they're on the website. We'll, uh, we'll link it down below for you so you can actually see what's going on. So passing the fish, grabbing the camera. Obviously we would love to have them in the water to do this, but they really freak out when you uh, have them just in a little shallow water. So we don't want to, we don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't measure me. We got 22. All right, cool. Here, I'll just grab a screenshot. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh yeah, he's like rare. Let me go. He's like in the mud. Come on, get out of mud. There you go. Cool. Nice, number 11. Mud doesn't come off, man. <laughs> So there we have it, 3.5 inch power prawn natural and a little belly weighted hook for some stripers. Uh, St. Croix legend tournament inshore, seven foot three, medium fast. That felt really, really nice. <laughs> 20 pound mono leader, just in case. That was, that was good, all right. The bait doesn't even look like it's phased by this, so that's a good thing. Let's go catch some more. Oh wow, that was easier than I thought. Got a bunch of them. So, I don't know how the best way of doing this is, but a bunch of little shrimp in here, little shrimpies. Oh, bouncing, bouncing. Let me see if I can grab one. A bunch of little shrimp. A little, uh, little grass shrimp, if I'm not mistaken. But there were a bunch more in here before I decided to <laughs> show you guys and they all jumped out, but always look around. There's always shrimp in these back bays, especially in these grass, these grasses and the mussel, mussel beds and everything. They're just chilling there, but there's shrimps everywhere. All right, so uh, we didn't have a banner day like we were expecting or whatever but we, we caught a fish each uh it seemed to be really really early on right as the water switched so if we got here a little bit earlier on an incoming tide we probably would have caught a little bit more fish but it seems like just one and done or we're just having a complete slate fest at least i am you haven't had a slate fest yet <laughs> no, this year no no i wouldn't call what we've had a slate fest but <laughs> yeah so today for me um i caught my one fish on the power prawn from Salt Strong. I'll link that down below. Um, there's a lot of really cool aspects of this thing. I mean, you can find a lot of shrimp baits, but this one, you can see where the hook is, see where the hook is now. And then it actually hides inside of that bait and it's really durable plastic too. So it, it hasn't been, 
destroyed. Um, it was a nice, decent, what was what was the size of mine? 22. 22. So it was a nice guy out here feeding, so he had those really strong teeth, if you want to call them that. But got a little three-aught belly-weighted hook because I figured shrimp, when you watch them in the water, they don't just go straight down. They kind of like glide down like that. So I figured if I'd cast it out and just let it glide down some structure, uh, we'd catch some fish kind of like a, a normal shrimp. But you caught your fish on a sidewinder. Sidewinder spoon. So that's a spoon. Um, has a lot of spearing in the water as well as shrimp. So we were able to uh, uh, capitalize on both bait presentations inside of the water. I was using, for the first time today, my new St. Croix uh, Legend Tournament inshore rated uh, three quarter, uh, three eighth to three quarter ounce, and uh, seven foot three. So it was a fantastic rod. First, first fish on it today, and it was a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. So, Shimano Stratic, 20, uh, 15 pound braid, 20 pound mono leader, just to keep it a little bit more abrasion resistant on the rocks and, and structure as the 15 pound. What were you throwing? Um, I'm using my Saint Croix. Mojo Surf with a uh, Daiwa BG and I have 20 pound braid with a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Nice. Yeah, he's got fluoro because he went down to Florida. So everything's fluoro down there. But yeah, good day. Each caught a fish starting to, uh, the sun's starting to come out, peek through the clouds and we're getting some rain showers too. So it's, it's, it's a pretty neat day. But as far as tide and catching fish, I think our day is over. So that's how it is. At least in this spot. Yeah, well, <laughs> I gotta go to work. <laughs> but if you guys wanna support the channel, we will link down um, smoochandrelease.com slash shop if you wanna purchase something like these hats. We have Smooch and Release sweatshirts on there as well. Um, we got bucktails, grubs to go on the bucktails, spinners, jigs, whatever you, uh, fr um, silicone jigs for the, the fluke season coming up. If you wanna pick up them before season starts, that way you have them. They are there and they are available in bulk. So go ahead and purchase that until we uh, go out and catch some more fish. Thank you guys for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time. Go subscribe to Brian. Boop.